that the e-services or business will grow out of an existing organization or institution. Of course, many e-net ventures are begun by a small group of passionate innovators who come together privately to develop their vision. The challenges for them are somewhat different. Those beginning new ventures do not have to manage the resistance to change inherent in large established organizations. But what they must do effectively is carefully define their product or service and capture a market or community. Success in the online arena depends upon organizing and sustaining what are called virtual communities. Now these are groups of individuals and companies scattered across the globe with a similar interest who come together at the internet site to increase their purchasing power as well as to exchange ideas and communicate with each other. Developing a virtual community is more than just defining a market niche in the traditional sense. Developing a virtual community involves helping users access a full range of resources and competing suppliers, as well as representing the particular needs of the virtual community to the vendors. Virtual communities involve more than just aggregating information and other kinds of resources, although they certainly do that. Virtual communities involve aggregating people, people who are drawn to the community because it provides an engaging environment in which to connect with other people based on mutual interest and need. In addition to providing goods and services, the site can include bulletin boards for interaction between members, chat sessions with experts, and a member-generated newsletter. And in order to illustrate the concept of a virtual community better, I would like to present a case example. The International Technology and Training Corporation, or ITTC. The ITTC is a private company of which I am one of eight principals. It has been de developed specifically to provide commercial services over the internet to yourselves, to the International Training Center's virtual community. Currently, the ITTC has a prototype online uh, portal site called Intectra.com. We are uh, assessing funding proposals at this time uh, from several different parties and hope to be open for your use very soon. Although I will show you examples of the program, we do not as yet have the staff or servers in place to support access to the site. As a commercially based venture, the principal innovators of the ITTC went directly to the le leaders of the ITC virtual community, your coordinators, in order to identify services for the initial undertaking. The site would be a portal, that is a doorway by which associates could access high quality information and services. We would not be a producer or a vendor of goods. It was immediately clear <clears throat> that the community was very interested in information regarding career and job opportunities regionally and around the world. A job or career center thus became a first priority. A relationship was established with the largest Hispanic job placement internet site in the United States, Job Centro. The ITTC would provide a new international presence to Job Centro. Associates will soon be able to post their resumes and search job opportunities for free, while employers can post jobs and view the associate resumes for a fee. Now, there are other sites, of course, that provide this type of placement service online. The strength and uniqueness of the ITTC is that it is based on the explicit needs of an existing virtual community. This is a community in which a relationship and trust have been established over many years. The ITC site coordinators also expressed an interest in devoting an area on the website <coughs> where associates could share their own personal or organizational websites as well as advertise their goods and services to other associates in the virtual community. The site would also serve as a link to competency-based online training and technology 
and information services. These would be offered through a second portal called OnlineCompetence.com. This would supplement and provide follow-up to the existing programs already being offered to associates and coordinators by the video conferences. Other commercial services that will be included uh, will be an e-store for the online sale of member goods. A third site, operational since actually 1996, called DistanceEducator.com, will provide guidance and support to ITC associates in distance education policies, research, developments, and trends, and will be in the medium term a delivery vehicle for international curricula and specific courses of interest to the ITC network. The Integra site will provide a number of services to associates to enhance communication within the community. These would include free email, an associate's bulletin board for open asynchronous discussion, announcements regarding upcoming regional and global conferences and meetings, an online journal which would include short articles by associates, and an Ask the Expert bulletin board where associates can pose questions online to highly qualified individuals in the areas of technology and management. As the site develops, the organizers foresee adding other services based on feedback from the community. For instance, a business and, and finance section could be developed to include the latest news and business opportunities, stock market updates, and opinions of financial experts. A lifestyle section could provide links to sites specializing in travel, hobbies, health, and personal interests. And an education and training page could provide links to high-quality competency-based technology and management training programs. 